Christina Ritchie. If you want more pars, but you struggle here on the fairway with thin shots, fat shots, two-way misses, so right, left, too high or too low, let's check your lower body. Is it rotating enough during the downswing or is it stalling out, causing you to flip or early release? All right, that's a big deal. So let's take a look at your lower body right now. Right, it's really important to understand what causes miss hits from the fairway. And what we're gonna look at now is our lower body. Is it rotating enough to allow you to have a consistent low point and a stable face? Or is your lower body stalling out and you have to flip at it or early release? All right, and this blocks your rotation through the shot. So if you have a two-way miss, if you're missing right or left, check your lower body. Is it rotating enough? Now, what's enough? All right, it's really going to depend on your mobility and your ability to get your lead hip to rotate open on the downswing. Say you're tight or your glutes weak or your hamstrings tight, you may not be able to do it. But I find that most players can get enough hip rotation through the shot, all right, so they don't have to stall out and flip at it. All right, to me, it's just awareness and learning how to use the ground. All right, so when you move into your backswing, we're going to have pressure, 80% pressure back here. And before you even get to the top, you're going to move your pressure to the front. All right, that's where the key is. Then you're going to use this as a platform to push off of and get that lead hip open. All right, that's where the magic is. Come a little closer here because this is really, really important. All right, so during, as we turn into our backs, we gotta make sure that we move our pressure first. And then before we can get to the top, we're gonna move our pressure back. So this is my lean in. All right, so we're basically moving our pressure and stabilizing on the lead leg early. So then we can push off of it and get that lead hip to rotate open. And that creates a easy environment for the body to rotate through. So I don't have to stall out. Because if our lower body stalls out, all right, our upper body's going to stall out too. All right, so that's like a double whammy. So if we get our lead hip to open, that creates room for the club, allows us to keep our forward shaft lean, and allows our torso to rotate through. All right, so pay attention to this back shoulder. All right, we really want this back shoulder to turn the corner. All right, where players go off is it hangs back like that. All right, or they just kind of flip at it and the back shoulder's back here. We got to get this shoulder to the front seat. All right, so I like to say turning the corner with the shoulder. Because so I like the shoulder to kind of go trace a shape like this, like a circle. All right, so that really gets you through the shot. All right, versus trying to swing out too much to the right and having the shoulder hang back. All right, you got to get the shoulder around so you can get all the way to your finish. That's a really important point. All right, so just having the awareness of what needs to happen. If you're one that really struggles with early release and not moving this, all right, focus on your, your midline here, your belt line or your belly button. Where is it as you come into the strike zone? Is it facing the ball or is it moving open? All right, allow it to open. Your shoulder's gonna open up a little bit. When players go off as they keep this crazy static and they over rotate with their upper body. Instead, we're going to keep our shoulders feeling more square and angled to the right. Trust me, they'll be open a little bit, but the lower body's got to be more open. All right, because that creates the room, and that also helps you to stabilize the lower body and get through the shot. So you can keep a stable club face versus flipping at it. That's not stable. The other thing you can use is your butt cheeks. How many butt cheeks do you see coming through the shot? Do you see one and a half, two, or do you see none? All right, that's another way to do it. So have a buddy film it, get yourself a tripod, film it. How many butt cheeks do you see? All right, that's a great non-technical way to find out if you're actually rotating your hips. And then do it in front of a mirror and get used to 
opening up the lead side. And if you're tight in your hips and you can't do it, then make sure you check out more Pars Fitness. And let's get you more mobility in your lower body. So if you have any questions about this, leave a comment and I'll be sure to answer in future tips. Thank you.